it may be the start of summer, but there is a state primary coming up. On Monday, ballots will start going out for the June 25th primary. Voters will decide nominees for several state house races. As Denver 7's Brandon Richards shows us, two incumbent Democratic lawmakers are facing big challenges. Nice to meet you. Cecilia Espinoza spent a career working in the legal profession. Now she hopes to become the state representative for House District 4 in Northwest Denver. Housing, of course, comes up at the top issue for everybody. They're concerned on all different levels of housing, housing and homelessness, housing and the migrant crisis. She ran for the seat last year but lost a vacancy committee election to Tim Hernandez, former school teacher and the first member of Gen Z to serve in the Colorado House. As an adult in my community, it's my responsibility to try and do something to make it a little bit better so the young people in my community community don't have to live through the same uh, struggles that I did. Hernandez has five bills he sponsored and made it to the governor's desk this year. The only one that didn't, a bill to ban so-called assault weapons. Passed the Colorado House for the first time in Colorado history. Last fall, he gained attention after initially refusing to condemn Hamas for its attack on Israel, leading him to later apologize. He says he's learned a lot during his short time in office and says he's who voters in his district want representing them. And somebody who's going to fight for poor people, working class people, and renters. Espinosa says the district needs someone with more experience and with more mainstream views. I do not believe this district as a whole is far left. Another primary race to watch is State House District 6. State Representative Elizabeth Epps, who was reprimanded for interrupting a Jewish lawmaker's speech, is facing a challenge from fellow Democrat Sean Camacho, a former Air Force intelligence officer who pledges a more diplomatic approach. A lot of people in my community um, want to see in a representative someone who is willing to collaborate um, and listen and fight for the values that they that are so important to the to my district. We reached out to Representative Epps for an interview but did not hear back. And the reason these two House district primary races are so important is because each of these districts is heavily Democratic. So the winner of the primary is a shoe in to win in November. In Denver, Brandon Richard, Denver 7.